Tiki Time Gown, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be making tags that are blinged out and sparkly. So um, we're going to take ordinary tags. Um, you can get this pattern off of on anywhere on the internet. You can get um, different types of tags. It doesn't have to be this specific type. This is just a fancy scalped edged one that has rounded corners at the bottom. You can get straight corners. You can get straight like a uh, peak like a triangle at the top you can get rounded ones you can get stars at the top and then they, they trim down you can get long ones you can get short ones medium ones you can get anything you want any kind of tag you want you can get that and print it out on your printer or go get tags at the store you can get little tiny tags if you want to make real tiny ones bigger ones you can get all the way up to really huge ones like for yard sales and stuff you can get you can get any size tag you want, any color tag you want, anything at all. But we're going to make these tags and we're going to bling them out with all kinds of pearls and laces and trims and stones. And we're going to drag out all the good stuff today, everybody. Drag out the good stuff. We're going to really do these up. We're going to get out some German gla glass glitter, some um, crystal glass glitter. And we're going to really pretty these up today. I haven't really worked with the glass glitter on my channel before because it's it's really finicky and if it gets somewhere like in your carpet and stuff and then you walk around barefoot it will cut you. You have to really work with it carefully and make sure you don't get it all over the place. So I really don't like messing with it too much because I'm I'm a very messy when I do my crafts. And I really I really don't want to get it everywhere, so I don't mark with it very often. But we're going to pull it out today and start working with these tags. So if you really want to do something like this, this is for the super blingy people that really like to bring it up a notch. High volume, high octane, we're going to put it on today. So this is your chance to shine, everybody. Bring on the bling. Come on down to the desktop and we'll do it. Okay, we're going to start off with regular, and you're going to want this to be one 10-pound cardstock um, because we're going to be putting heavy bling on this. You're going to want it to be heavy cardstock, and we're going to triple it up with three layers of um, cardstock. So you're going to want your best friend in the world. Of course, we're doing it with Beacon fabric tack Beacon Fabri-Tac is excellent for um, craft projects involving paper because it doesn't wrinkle the paper when it dries. It, it also goes on nice, smooth, and glides on, and it gives you a little bit of time to work with your project before it starts to grab and stick so you can reposition things nicely. So you're going to take your Beacon Fabri-Tac, and you're going to run a bead around the edge of your surface, not all the way to the edge, because then when you go to, to smoosh it down, you don't want the glue to squirt out everywhere. So go about a quarter of an inch from the edge of the, the paper, all the way around, and then you're going to squirt some in the middle and kind of kind of spread it around with the edge of your nozzle. Then you're going to put one piece of paper over the other, and using that wonderful little prep time you have, you're going to make sure it lines up right, and then you're going to smoosh it down. Then you're going to go in for your third layer, walk it around the edge, and then come in the middle, put you a little bit, you're going to put your third layer on top, line it up real nice. If you have some major inconsistencies, because when you're fussy cutting out these, you're going to have some inconsistencies, go back and trim it up along the edges if you need to, if it hangs over or whatever and doesn't look quite right. Go ahead and trim it up a little bit so it looks good. And once you have all of your pieces all cut out and glued together, you're going to set that aside and you're going to let it thoroughly dry. 
when you know it's dry, it'll be nice and it'll be warm because it's cool to the touch now because the glue is cool. But it'll be warm to the touch, it'll be room temperature, and it'll be hard as a rock. When you smack it on your desktop, it'll make a clicking sound. And it'll be hard as a rock. Like right now, it doesn't make that much of a sound. But I mean, this thing will really click when it's dry and it's, it's hard. And we'll come back to it. And we're probably going to paint them up and do all kinds of crazy things with them. But I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine of them. So we're really going to bling up some of them, make them look really pretty. And we'll get to it here in a couple of seconds. So we'll see you in a few. Okay, once they have completely dried and they're rock hard, like I said, we're going to take some triple thick. I deck art. Americana and I got this from Hobby Lobby for $6.49 for this I can't read I think it's an eight ounce jar I think and we're going to coat the top sides of the tag and we're going to I'm going to use coffee filters um, we're going to um, cover them in I have a combination of extra fine fine, chunky, and um, it's a mixture of my own um, glitter. It's iridescent glitters. It's a bunch of iridescent glitters I threw together in like a mod podge of, uh, that I use for um, crafts like this. Um, it's just different kinds of glitters that I threw together. Let's see if I can show you here. It's uh, some chunky, some fine, some ultra fine glitters, iridescents. And then on top, we're going to mix in some diamond dust. This is German glass glitter is another name for it. And these are itty bitty tiny little shards of glass. So you do not want to get this everywhere. You want to be real careful when working with this. You don't want to get it in your carpet. You want to make sure you sweep it up and get it all put back in the jar. Um, I will put a link in the description. I think I got this from Amazon, I do believe. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I will link it down below. This is a 14 ounce jar. A little bit of this goes a long way, and it'll put that extra glistening glitter onto your project. It really shows up really beautifully with the glitter on your projects. So, and I got a little spoon here that I'm going to use to um, spoon in the, uh, the German glass glitter. So, um, let's go ahead and put on our triple thick. And you want to put this on generously. I want to put it all over the tag and put it on kind of thick. All the way to the edges. Make sure you get the edges really well. But you got a nice thick layer on there. You get your coffee filter. Get your glitter. And you want to pour the glitter on. Turn it over, tap it off, and you'll want to allow this to dry completely. Then we're going to come back and put another layer of triple thick on it, and we're going to put the glass glitter. So you're going to want to do this to all your tags that you're going to want to do. You're going to want to put this layer of triple thick. On your tag. Nice and thick. All the way to the edges. And 
you're going to want to put on the glitter, tap it on. Tap it off, and you're going to want to put that to side to dry. So go ahead and do this with all of your all of your tags. Take a stride completely on your first layer with your glitter. You're going to want to open up your shimmering glass glitter. And this is what it looks like. Very glossy, very glittery. You're going to want to put some triple thick on a plate or a, a lid or something because you don't want to get the glitter back in your in your jar. So you're going to get glitter on your paintbrush from this. So you're going to take another generous layer and just pat it over the top. Of your um, layer of uh, glitter that you have put on. Put a generous, uh, generous amount on. All the way to the edges. And then you're going to want to take your German glass glitter and sprinkle it over the top. And it doesn't take a lot of this. it on the back and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a popsicle stick and you're going to want to pat over it let me get these out of the way you're going to want to pat over the top of it make sure you smash down all those little flat shards down into the glue real quick Pat down over the top. And allow that to dry really good. Allow that to dry thoroughly. So I'll show you that again. And a little pan of glue over here. And put a nice thick generous layer of triple thick over over the uh, glitter all 
all the way to the edges. Come over here with your German glass butter or your, uh, your, what do they call these? Diamond dust. Let's break one on. over, pat it, and then bring it over here with your popsicle stick, and pat all those down, and let that thoroughly dry. Okay, after your tags are all completely dried and rock hard, you're going to cut away any glitter or um, German gloss glitter that's sticking over the edges. You're going to cut it away so it's not sticking out. Make a nice and flush and straight along the edges and the tops and the bottoms. Then you're going to take your crocodile and you're going to poke a hole in the top and the bottom of each one of them. And you're going to take um, eyelets and put an eyelet in the top and the bottom of each one. You're going to take your crocodile. You see this little pin right here? You're going to put that pin in the top of your eyelet and squeeze. And you do that for the bottom as well. Put that pin in the eyelet. And squeeze and that will set your eyelets. I'll set your eyelets so they're not going anywhere. I'll show you that again. Once you have your holes from the crocodile cut in, you take your eyelets, you put them in those holes, you take your little pin here, 
in your crocodile, your little pin. You line that pin up and you put it in the hole and you squeeze. Line the pin up in the hole and you squeeze. That will lock your eyelet in its hole. There we go. Lock your eyelids in. In the hole. Okay. Okay. And now it's time to do the favorite part. It's time to bling out our little tags. I have some six millimeter pearl strand, some three millimeter pearl strand, some three millimeter bling per, bling wrap, um, some two millimeter bling wrap. And I have a whole tray of pieces of jewelry that I've taken apart over the years that I've gotten here and there and everywhere. And we're going to add little pieces to this and bling them all up. I also have a little cup here full of little um, pendants and dangles and things that we can put on um, as well. So, this is just going to be, nothing's going to be the same. Everything's going to be different. So I'm just going to set this to a time lapse with some music, and I'm just going to start putting them together. Everything's going to be different, um, so that's what we're going to do. So here we go. We're going to use our trusty hot glue gun for this, because um, it's a very bumpy texture, and I think that's what's going to hold the best. So here we go.
And here's the ones we've made today. I think they're very pretty. They're very boingy. We put enough boing on there to save the world. <laughs> These are one of the most blingy things I've ever made. I don't think we can put any more boing on them, to tell you the truth, people. Well, maybe a little. We could put some stickles on them. <laughs> yeah, we could put some stickles on them. Um, what do you think? They're all going to be different, depending on what you have to put on. But... I think they're very pretty in their own right. They have the German glass glitter. They have the regular glitter. They have the, the button bling and the, the bling from the crystals and the jewelry and stuff. And they have the little dangles of any kind. I think my favorites is going to be either this one. This one right here. Or maybe... this one. And that's just an earring, a hoop earring that I just put on there. So, which one's your favorite? Leave it in the comments below. That'll do me. That was a well-winded one, people. Thank you very much for sticking by. A lot of it was in time lapse. A lot of it where I was putting the charms on, the little dangles. I cut out a lot of that because it was just me fidgeting with the um, jump rings. I have a hard time with those because, like I said, my eyesight's not real great. My hands don't work like they used to. And it's just real fidgety for me. And I didn't want you to have to sit through all that. So I cut a lot of that out. It was just me putting them on anyways. And you just wanted to see the end result anyway. So, all right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Take care of yourself and we'll catch you on the flip side. Hey, while you're at it, why not subscribe to the channel? Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing today. Leave me ideas that can help boost my channel ratings or ideas for future content on the channel. Click the notification bell so you know when I have new videos out or when I go live. Share my um, videos on social media outlets such as Facebook or Instagram so that way my videos can reach more people and I can grow my audience. Click the like button below. That really helps my channel to help reach more people on YouTube. Supporting me is really great and it helps me grow my channel. I'm not a very big channel at this time. And it's really important to me that I get support from fellow YouTubers. I really appreciate you all. I really appreciate that you take time out of your busy day to view my videos and to spend time with me on a daily basis. I try to put videos out on a daily basis so you have something to watch and something to entertain yourselves with. I try really hard to make my channel a positive place for people to come and have fun and be entertained. So I try really hard to make things enjoyable for people. So if you, if you support me, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so very much for your time. Have a great day. We'll catch you on the flip side.